What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at how you can implement syntax highlighting on your website using Prism to achieve a look like this. We're going to go over how you can quickly get it up and running with a CDN and then we'll take a look at how you can implement it properly with plugins and custom themes. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start off by taking a look at how you can create these code blocks using the pre and code tags. This is the proper way of doing code blocks if you have an HTML website. If you're using a CMS platform such as Ghost, there's already a built-in way of doing this in the editor. So the Ghost way of doing it is simply by writing three backticks, then writing the name of the language you're using, pressing the spacebar, and then you can enter the code that you want inside of here. The HTML way of doing it is simply by using the pre and code tags. So you want to make this pre code tag and then the code tag inside of that. Uh, and then the class should be the name of the code you're using. And then you can enter the code example inside of these tags. Now, depending on the style of your website, your code block should look a little something like this. Now we'll head over to the Prism test website and take a look at the default themes that they have available. They have eight different ones to choose between. I'm just gonna go with tomorrow night because that's the one I like. And then we'll take a look at the custom themes that you can implement later. Implementing Prism with a CDN is as simple as going to the CDN JS library, picking a theme, adding the Prism call and the Prism autoloader to your website. So we wanna start off by grabbing the link tag to the style sheet and place it inside our header. So I'm gonna choose tomorrow and I'm gonna copy the link tag and just paste it directly into my header deleting this integrity and cross origin and next we're going to go ahead and grab the core of the prism so we're going to copy the script type and paste that into the footer of our website if you're on a, if you're using an html website you want to paste it into the body tag instead next we're going to grab the auto loader to make sure that we could use languages like python Otherwise, it's only going to use the default, uh, I think it's three languages or something. So we're going to copy that and paste it into. And that's actually it. That's how you implement it really quickly with a CDN and you get this result. Now, the downside to this is that you're using a CDN, so it can slow down the website load time a little bit. Another problem with it is that you don't have as much flexibility when you're using it this way as you would if you had it on your local uh, web server. Now, the next step from here would be to download the files and host them locally on your server. So head over to the Prism download section and take off the things that you want. I'm going to be choosing the theme tomorrow night. I'm going to be choosing the language Python. And I'm also going to be using a few plugins. I'm going to be using line numbers and a copy to clipboard button. If there's something that you want to use as a plugin, you can simply click on it. It's a link and it'll show you how you can use it. So we're going to download the JavaScript file and the CSS file. Once it's downloaded, you simply want to upload them to your server. If you're using a ghost website, you can simply add it to the assets folder of your theme. So really the only thing that we want to change after we've uploaded the files to our web server is simply the path. So in my case, I'm, I've put the path in a folder called scripts inside an assets folder. So I'm going to change it to prism.css. Now this is the path to my CSS file. If you have any custom CSS file, you can simply change the path to that instead. Now in terms of the script, we don't need the autoloader anymore and I've put the script inside the same folder. So I'm gonna change this to prism.js. Now, if we save this and reload the site here, you can see that it should be the same. The only difference being that we now have a copy to clipboard button, which is auto added automatically. What isn't auto added automatically is simply the line numbers, simply because they need to have a class for them to function. So you can choose which code blocks have it or not. If you're using, um, an HTML website, you can simply add line numbers to the class of your body. If you're using Ghost, it's a lot easier to use a script because you're using a lot of dynamic files. So I'm going to leave the code in the bottom. And once we save and reload the website, the line numbers should be added. 
Now that's it. That's how you can add Sitex highlighting to your website or blog in just a few simple minutes. It's super simple, super flexible, looks really cool, and you can add any functionality you want to it basically. In terms of creating custom themes, I would recommend using the Prism Theme Generator created by Kate Hudson. You can edit the hex values instead of having to play around with the CSS directly. But of course, you can also just edit the CSS directly if that's your thing. In terms of the code that I use to add the line numbers to the ghost block, what it does is simply it adds the uh, line numbers class to any pre-tag with the class of language. So it's super simple, super easy. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. Be sure to comment down below if you have any issues and uh, we'll just have a nice day.